on the second night of Christmas. Matt reviewed for you. Hide single grain Irish whiskey. Yeah, that didn't go with the flow. I, I you know what? I'm done with that. No more, no more singing. But uh, again, I'm just ecstatic. I'm happy to be doing this just because it's corny, weird, whatever. I do it generally just for the fun of it. Um, <laughs> everything's pretty organic. I don't get paid for this, but it's fun. I like doing it. And if anything, maybe it'll entertain someone. So um, as you can see tonight, I'm doing this uh, single grain Irish whiskey from Hyde. Uh, Hyde. They are uh, whiskey bonders. Um, so what they'll do is they will source the finest liquids from the best distilleries on the island. And they'll uh, create their whiskeys um, from one of their partner uh, distilleries, which is in County Cork. And then they'll finish their expressions in their bonded warehouse, also in County Cork. Um, so Hyde, they've been doing this a long time. They've been in the Irish whiskey business since the mid-1600s. Uh, so, you know, what are we, 2023 now? So almost 400 years. have been doing a long time. But anyway, this one is bottled at 46% ABV. Uh, I love the purple label on this one. But So this one is finished in burgundy casks. So I'm looking forward to this one. Um, it was matured in flame charred bourbon oak casks before being transferred to the toasted burgundy red wine casks. Red wine burgundy casks. I um, had a little a couple tipples out of this bottle. I um, This is the only Hyde expression I've ever had. It's not readily available here in my area of North Texas. Um, so I was pretty thrilled when I found this one. Um, I've been wanting to try it. So again, cool looking label. I'm not the biggest fan of single grain Irish whiskeys. It's probably the least favorite of mine. So out of your single pot, still single malts, blends, and single grain. Single grains is down there at number four. There are a few I really enjoy. Um, if I remember, this is one of them. Very aromatic nose, toasted oak, some berries, and a hint of dry wine. Just a hint. It does say burgundy. Huh? I do get a hint of dry wine in there. Um, strong plum and red apple. Here we go, let's launch it. Ooh. There's a lot going on on the palate. Red berries, honey. Again, that dry red wine is there, very prominent. Uh, some toasted oak. Some malt. Ooh, that's good. I don't know if you can see, but you can see, see the legs, you get a few legs, it's not unusual for a single grain. You get, you get leggy on the glass like that, getting leggy with it, nah, 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 <laughs> sorry. Just sitting here savoring this finish. It's a long finish. Immediately on the forefront of this finish, I get some zest, kind of like some little citrusy zest. A uh, little vanilla. That plum is coming back. Some toasted oak is there. And as it fades, I'm starting to get that that burgundy dry wine again. Um, it's been prominent throughout. This is this is a splendid single grain. It doesn't even, to me, single grains are a little too sweet for my liking. I don't get that with this. Yes, I get some plum, some honey, a little vanilla in there, but they're not overwhelmingly sweet. That dread, that dry red wine, really balances everything out. This is a this is a fantastic sip. Um, if I remember correctly, 
I want to say mid to upper 40s, I think 40 in the 46, 47 dollar range. Um, I will need to go back to the store I got this from and uh, see if they have this. Oh, I just noticed here it says limited edition on it. This is bottle number 3806 out of 5,000. <laughs> it was bottled in 2017. Oh, well, who the hell knew? Interesting. Drinking six year old whiskey. Uh, well, not really six year old whiskey, but you know what I mean. Uh, that's another thing. I don't know the age statement on this one. I'll have to see if I didn't do my homework. I apologize. It's probably, no, I mean, there's no age statement on this, so I'm going to do a little digging and see what I can come up with. But anyway, that's what I got for tonight. Hide single grain, hide number five. Um, highly, highly recommend this one. This one, this one's really good. I enjoy this one. So that's what I got. And I'll see you tomorrow, Friday the 15th. Whoa. Have a good night.